After relocating to Songkla in Thailand from Australia, Tamara Johnston came to know about something she liked. This was during the time she was pursuing a career in English. One day, she saw a small one-month-old puppy roaming close to a roadside temple. Had the dog remained there, she would have been run over by a car. She told Dodo that if the dog escaped being killed by a vehicle, there were numerous common diseases here that could otherwise threaten her well-being. As things were, Bella looked like she had no one to care for her. Johnston, therefore decided to take her home. She loved the puppy and decided to adopt her. Through this experience, Johnston realized many dogs in Thailand needed help. She saw neglected dogs in most of the places she visited Thailand. Many had no food, others were sick while others had been abandoned on the streets. This is a big problem in Thailand with people in the locality raising concerns on the difficulties posed by aggressive street dogs. The dogs pose a danger to wildlife, transmit diseases, and present an intricate issue for animal welfare activists. In the West, dogs are taken to shelters and rescue centers, Johnston said. In Thailand, we have only a few which are far apart. In Songkhala, there is a shelter run by the local authorities, but Johnston was appalled by its pathetic condition. The shelter is underfunded, and the rate at which dogs are dying is alarming. You find all manner of parasites, Johnston said. The population of dogs at the shelter is exceptionally high for lack of a sterilizing program. After Johnston saw the problems faced by these animals, she decided to take some of the dogs to her home. She provided shelter, food, and proper care. She worked hard to find homes for many of the dogs she rescued from the streets. She has managed to find homes in the United States for some of her dogs. Owing to the high number of street dogs in the area, she was unable to take them all to her home. But she made sure they got food and were well taken care of. She is hoping to open a vet clinic where the dogs can be treated one day it's impossible to save every dog. However, I will try as much as I can to help these dogs, she said. That is why I intend to remain in this place. I want to change things. At the moment, Johnston depends on donations from well-wishers to cater to the needs of these animals. She knows they have been neglected for long without anyone to care for them. Blog page, BarkPooch.com Facebook fan page, Twitter and Instagram, I love my dogs. We hope you liked the video. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates.